This is part two video on menstruation topic. In the part one, we have covered square, rectangle, and circle. In this video, we are going to discuss about triangle, a general quadrilateral, and a rhombus. How do you get area and perimeter of these shapes? I hope you will like the video. Please share it with your friends also. Thank you. Triangle is a 2D plane figure. Triangle has got three sides, right? Side lengths are not equal to the side lengths. Okay? Now, perimeter of the triangle is not Let's take this particular triangle, right? It has got three sides. A three sides length sum may they te undo dani perimeter and to. And the green color line a day te undo dani length complete length at the undo dani perimeter of the triangle and to. And the perimeter is defined as length of side one plus length of side two plus length of side three. Okay. If I say that S1, S2, S3 are the lengths of three sides of the triangle, then perimeter is going to be S1 plus S2 plus S3. Now, look at this. Area of the triangle is defined as half base times height. Okay. For this particular triangle, I say that this is my base denoted by B. Okay. Then what is the height I have to take? Okay. If I take height equal to H, then area of the triangle is half BH. Right. Particular triangle ki, you have to take this base and draw a perpendicular from the base such that the perpendicular touches the opposite vertex. And then you draw a line like this. You see, this is a perpendicular line. And then the height cos the line draw chesamo, that line is perpendicular to the base. Let me call this as H. Now area of the triangle is half BH. So what about this particular triangle? This particular triangle area is also half base times height. Let me call this as base for this particular triangle. Let me denote this as B1. What is the height? And this e particular line base line perpendicular ga. I have to draw a line. This is the perpendicular line. Right? So, this is going to be height. So, let me call this as H1. And in the triangle of B and H1, and the green B1, H1. So, area of this particular triangle is going to be half B1 times H1. Now, if you have any doubts, how do you get this particular formula? Let's take a look at this. Let me call this as base of length B and height of length H. And we know that area of this particular triangle is half BH. Right? So, how do you get it? Ante? I'm going to draw parallel lines like this. When I draw two parallel lines, it is becoming the full shape chordan miru, it is a rectangle, right? So, rectangle, we know what is the area of rectangle. Area of rectangle is defined as length times width. In this particular case, length is B and width is H, right? So, area of the rectangle is B times H. Now, look at this figure. This rectangle is made of two identical triangles, right? One I have given yellow color now and the other one is in white color, right? The area of these two triangles are exactly same. Area of this particular triangle is equal to area of this particular triangle, right? Area of triangle, if you look at, I can write it as half the area of rectangle. E particular rectangle, 
half the area of rectangle this kunte i am going to get this white triangle and half of the area this kunte i am going to get this yellow color triangle right area of triangle is half times area of rectangle we know area of rectangle is b times h so area of triangle is going to be half b times h half bh right you understood how did we get this formula you may have doubt you know what about other triangle for example i have taken a different triangle i am not going to do you know make it make it a, as a rectangle and look at the area here in this case let me take this as the base right what is the height height has to be perpendicular right perpendicular distance from the base to the opposite vertex right so this is my height now observe this this particular triangle is made into two different triangles right let me say that this is b1 length of this particular triangle area is sorry this is b2 and let me call this as b1 okay now area of triangle 1 a1 equal to half b1 times h and area of triangle 2 is half b2 times h right total area of the triangle a equal to a1 plus a2 ante na pedda triangle ni two small triangles ka chesam kabatti aa renditle area sum chesthe manaki original triangle area vachestundi so let me write this as half b1 times h plus half b2 times h right now i can take half h as common this is going to be b1 plus b2 right now look at this b1 plus b2 is b right b1 plus b2 equal to b ante this is half h times b this can be written as half b h area of the triangle ochinda meeku so this is how you are going to find area of any of the shapes for that matter different quadrilaterals we are going to look at dini triangulation anta ante i made the given shape into multiple triangles in this particular case original original shape kuda triangle i made that into two separate triangles and then we know area of the triangle formula with the help of that we could get the area of the original triangle here the same concept can be utilized to get area of any of the quadrilateral okay the method is called triangulation please note this quadrilateral is a 2d plane figure the quadrilateral alone a special kind of quadrilateral same untay ani chuste ganaka manaku square rectangle rhombus parallelogram ilant vanni untai right vaatilo we are going to talk about the relation between sides opposite sides equal untaya parallel untaya ilanti maatladtam right square ku vache sarki all sides equal length untay antam rectangle ku vache sarki opposite sides equal length untay ani cheptam right rhombus ki opposite sides are parallel ani cheptam ilanti special features untai but in general quadrilateral ante you don't need to really bother about all that that may look like this ikkada manam abcd edaithe chupistamo danlo untam deeni perimeter kavalante em cheyali blue color line length ent undo kanukovali right a blue color line length enta ante ab plus bc plus cd plus da right so this is the perimeter of the quadrilateral what about area of this quadrilateral ఈ ఏబిసిడి అనే క్వాడ్రిలేటరల్ ఏరియా కావాలంటే ఏం చేయాలి మనం ఇది రెక్టాంగిల్ లానో లేకపోతే స్క్వేర్ లానో లేదు కాబట్టి వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు యూజ్ ట్రయాంగులేషన్ మెథడ్ టు ఫైండ్ ద ఏరియా అంటే ఏంటి వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్ప్లిట్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ క్వాడ్రిలేటరల్ ఇన్ టూ టూ ట్రయాంగిల్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ట్రయాంగిల్ వన్ హియో అండ్ ట్రయాంగిల్ టూ హియో రైట్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ క్వాడ్రిలేటరల్ ఏబిసిడి ఈజ్ నౌ గోయింగ్ టు బి ఈక్వల్ టు ఏరియా ఆఫ్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ ట్రయాంగిల్ ఏడిసి plus area of triangle abc right we know what is the area of the triangle 
area of the triangle is half base times height right base b and h height aithe ganaka area of triangle is half bh now we have to see what is the area of this particular triangle and what is the area of this particular triangle then of course base ga i can use this black line right what about height i have to draw a line perpendicular to the base so this is the height for triangle 1 and let me draw height for another triangle that is triangle 2 this is height for triangle 2 right let me call the first one as h1 and the second one as h2 and base edaithe undo danni meer observe chesthe this is the diagonal of the quadrilateral right ac anedi edaithe undo adi diagonal of the quadrilateral b tho denote cheyakanda i am denoting it as d base of the triangle but i am calling it as d right now area of this first triangle is going to be half d times h1 right area of the second triangle is half d times h2 let us write that half d times h1 plus half d times h2 ikkada half d half d common thesesthe it is going to be half d times h1 plus h2 right this is the area of the quadrilateral mir formula note cheskondi area of the quadrilateral is half d times h1 plus h2 d is diagonal of the quadrilateral and h1 and h2 are perpendicular heights of the triangles you got rhombus is a special kind of quadrilateral right it has got all four sides of equal length and opposite sides parallel okay meer observe chesthe ganaka square ni koncham tilt chesthe manaku rhombus vastundi all four sides equal and opposite sides parallel square lo kuda what is the difference ante akkada all four angles are 90 degrees angles right but ikkada all four angles same kaadu adhavainda that is the difference between square and a rhombus right perimeter of the rhombus kavalante manam em chestam all four sides length same kaabatti four times length of the side of the rhombus ani cheppochu let me call this as length of one side of rhombus is equal to l so the same is true with all other sides right so perimeter of rhombus is 4 times l we can write it as pq plus qr plus rs plus sp right what about area of this rhombus you know that when you have a quadrilateral like this we have used triangulation method to get area of the quadrilateral right for this particular quadrilateral we got area as half times d times h1 plus h2 d is the diagonal and h1 and h2 are heights of the those two triangles we got right similarly if you want to apply the same idea of triangulation we have to split this rhombus into two triangles for that let me connect s and q okay s and q in connect cheste what we have now is the diagonal d1 that is diagonal 1 of the rhombus right now it made rhombus into two triangles triangle 1 and triangle 2 now area of rhombus pqrs is going to be equal to some of the areas of these two triangles right let me write that area of rhombus equal to area of triangle pqs plus area of triangle srq and we know that area of triangle is half times base times height right so base can be this and what about height this is height of triangle 1 and this blue color line is height of triangle 2 right you observe this these two lines green line and blue line are intersecting at this point and the blue line is the second diagonal for the given rhombus right now 
using this formula i can say that area of triangle pqs equal to half d1 times op right plus area of triangle srq is half d1 times or right half d1 half d1 common this is the you get now half d1 times op plus or look at this op plus or is pr right this is equal to half d1 times pr what is pr pr is the second diagonal of the given rhombus right so let me call that as d2 second diagonal d2 anukunte now area of rhombus is half d1 times d2 please note this formula area of rhombus is half d1 times d2 d1 and d2 are the diagonals of given rhombus understood